Any developer that's ever written a SQL query is most probably familiar with the group by clause. Here's a simple query. I'm selecting department number and I want to get a count for each department. So it comes from my employee table. And at the end, I do a group by department number. It's a simple query to write. That's all well and good until the things you want to group by is perhaps a bit more lengthy to type or it's an expression. In this case, I'm using job and I'm using higher date and the bits and pieces in a big long case expression. That's my non-grouped element and then I'm adding a normal count star. When it comes to the group by part of the query, I have to retype that entire expression. I can't use the bonus alias there. I have to actually type the entire expression again. That can be a little bit frustrating when it comes to writing SQL queries. In particular, when you compare that to an order by clause where you can do order by one, two or three, or you can do order by the column alias name, it seems a pity that group by didn't support that same flexibility. In 23C, we've addressed this. Now, if I re go ahead and retype my query again, case when job equals, etc., and I type in all the bits and pieces, but I've given that expression an alias of bonus, now I can simply group by bonus. I don't have to retype the entire expression. It's not just the group by clause that's been extended to understand the concept of using an alias. If I retype my query and put the same lengthy expression in, I can group by the bonus. But as we know, with the group by command, you can also include a having clause to avoid having to do an inline view. Even in the having clause, I can make reference to my bonus alias therefore avoiding, once again, having to do any references to that expression over and over again. Since we've gone ahead and added support for the alias in a group by and in the having as well, you might be thinking the next logical step would be to allow the use of an ordinal number, such that order by one, we should be able to do group by one. And if I type in this expression and do group by one, I, hmm, I get an error. This is not a bug. This is by design. We could safely add group by alias because any usage of that kind in the past would have generated an error. However, to simply allow group by one, group by two, doesn't necessarily mean it's not gonna interfere with your existing code. The example here you can see, I can already do group by one in existing code, but it's not treated as an ordinal number. It's treated as a constant. I didn't have to put it in, but the reality is people have been doing this in the past, and therefore to simply change that to become a group by ordinal number might actually change the results of the query. We need to actually take care that we haven't broken your existing code. To give you that flexibility, we've introduced a new parameter which lets you selectively turn on or off at system or session level. You do alter session set group by position enabled equals true, and that flicks the switch. That now says that if you reference an ordinal number inside a group by, then we're using it in the same way that we'd use it inside an order by statement. I can now rerun my query. I type in the full expression again. And this time now when I type in group by one, I'm effectively referring to the bonus expression we've got there, there rather than just the constant value of one. We had to add that setting to ensure that there are no issues with backward compatibility with your existing code.